join our Spotlight family so you can stay in the know of what's going on in the Bay. We're going to give you information, education, and entertainment that can and will change your life. It's a new day with Spotlight on the Bay. Hello Bay Area, I'm Rebecca Martinez and I'm your host and today we're in Oakland community celebrating uh, with Chris the co-founder of Kingmakers of Oakland and so today we're going to learn a little bit about his organization and how he is impacting the community of Oakland. Chris, yes, great to have you today. Thank you for having me. Please share a little bit about the vision and where this all started. All right on. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, blessed to have actually launched a body of work back in 2010 um, within Oakland Unified School District that was called the Office of African American Male Achievement. Okay. Um, Oakland Unified School District had just come out of state receivership, and um, we just hired our first uh, locally controlled superintendent. When he looked at the data, um, there were some th uh, several things that were really glaring. Um, it disaggregated the data by race, uh, gender, and what we found was um, African American male students, uh, when looked at through the lens of all positive academic indicators, were dead last in those areas. Of all the negative academic indicators, uh, they were at the, at the top. And as opposed to locating the problem with black boys, we uh, located that problem with the system. Uh, Tony Smith then hired me to launch that office, the first office of its kind in the country, um, to really create what is now a blueprint for addressing the system, oh, wow. structure, culture, and condition that really prevents our young black boys from taking their crown out their pocket and rocking it. And so the work started in 2010 um, and gave birth to the Office of African American Male Achievement, the Office of African American Female Excellence, um, the Office of Latino Student Achievement, and the Office of Asian Pacific Islander Student Ach Achievement in 2016 and created the Office of Equity. Um, going into the pandemic, though, one of the things that was very clear to me was um, this idea of systems of oppression self-correct. And although uh, we were acknowledged by then President Barack Obama is one of the 20 blueprint programs in the country uh, as improving life and uh, uh, educational outcomes for black boys from preschool through 12th grade, yet the system still was, was doing what systems do. And so I realized the evolution of our work really need to pivot from being within the system to outside of the system. So in 2020, um, created the office of, excuse me, created Kingmakers of Oakland um, to transition out of the school district and become our own autonomous, a 501c3 of Wonderful. which we now have a contract with Oakland Unified School District but have now grown the work that started in Oakland to work with districts throughout the Bay Area um, throughout Washington the state of Washington we're in Seattle Public Schools and then Georgia we're in the largest district in the state of Georgia Gwinnett County Public Schools but it all started right here in Oakland. Fantastic um, as a leader in the community and setting a blueprint for what society needs in systematic systems um, what do you find as the biggest challenge when presenting organizations like this? You know, um, I think uh, it's a complex issue. Let me just say that. Um, I think the more melanin you have in your skin in these public school systems, the more harsh the discipline of children then um, that really is develop developmentally appropriate behavior it gets criminalized for black brown indigenous children and so I think the heaviest lift in this country is the criminalization of of, of black children right. uh, the commodification of black bodies uh, and the narratives uh, really that are left out from out pan-african throughout Rasa studies, indigenous studies. And so um, even though we graduate and still matriculate through this system, not at the, the, the levels we should, um, but we still master Eurocentric content and curriculum, um, yet we know not who we are or, or whose we are. And so we posit that uh, in evolving public school systems that we have to really lift up the contributions of African culture in math, science, language, arts, and social studies. And in doing that, um, not only do black children thrive and exceed, but all children thrive oh, and exceed. That. And so the, some of the biggest challenges really are adult mindsets um, that um, may see innate greatness in some children 
and do not see innate greatness in others. And this is demonstrated in the data, right? We see that uh, when you uh, assess referral rate data, um, a white child stands up in this chair uh, and Johnny is spirited or has a, 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 you know, a difficult day. Okay, Johnny, please sit down. A black child stands up in his, his chair. Uh, it is aggressive behavior and that child gets expelled. And so um, I think the heaviest lift is changing adult mindsets uh, and embracing and lifting up the cultural prosperity in math, science, language, arts, and social studies from preschool through 12th grade. That's not just um, uh, captured in one month, Black History Month, but really is threaded and embedded in all aspects of curriculum. And so that is the beautiful struggle. That's the work that Kingmakers is doing. And again, it started here in Oakland, but it's taking root um, throughout the continental United States as well. And for more information or to contribute or support, donate to Kingmakers of Oakland, you can go to our website, kingmakersofoakland.org. You can go on our Instagram or Facebook page at Kingmakers of Oakland, or our Twitter is Kingmakers of O. Um, you can also reach us at 510-589-4658. Um, but please check us out for volunteer opportunities to make a contribution or just to support and learn more about Kingmakers of Oakland. Thank you very much. Chris, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And you've been on Spotlight with the Bay. Hello, Bay Area. I'm your host, Rebecca Martinez. And in our new season, we're going to keep you informed on in-depth detail of your community with TikTok, live streams, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's a new day with Spotlight on the Bay. Hello, Bay Area. I'm Rebecca Martinez, and I'm your host with Spotlight on the Bay. Today, we're out here in the city of Oakland with Kevin, uh, Oakland City Council member. Kevin, great to have you today. Thank you for having me, appreciate it. Please, tell us a little bit about what's going on. So we have a Easter event for the children in the district. And so what we wanna do is activate this space, activate this park, and make sure that these kids have loving, lasting memories of Oakland. So how often do we you know, host events like this? Is it just holidays? What, what, what's the whole idea of organizing something like this in our community? So it's about activating space. There's so much negativity going on in our city and we really want kids not to have memories of homicides and shootings and robberies. We want them to have memories of being in their park, having fun with their families, doing Easter events. So as often as possible, we'll find events that we can do that activates this space and activates our community. This is a safe place for our community to come out and uh, enjoy our day together. So thank you for being a leader in our community. And um, can you give us a little bit more about what your vision is um, with your seat on the city council and what you want to bring to the city of Oakland. Absolutely. So in District 6, I represent East <laughs> Oakland. And East Oakland is a beautiful place. We have people that are proud of their city and it's, they're resilient. But there are certain issues that we have to work together as a community to solve, including homicides in our city, shootings, legal dumping, abandoned vehicles, just making sure that people have the highest quality of life. And that's my commitment to the people of Oakland, ensuring that I work every day to ensure that they have a quality of life that they can be proud of and that their kids can have a city that they grow up in and are proud of. Can you give us a little bit more information when it comes to community input and how we can have a voice to what happens right here? Absolutely. I think the power of change does not come from City Hall. The power of change comes from the community. And for that to happen, we have to listen to the voices who are most affected by some of the negativities that come our way. So to do that, right, I'm readily available by telephone. We embrace technology. So we'll answer your questions on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, email, all the methods. And we also have a newsletter. Wonderful. So. Kevin, will you please just share a little bit about your website, your email? Yeah. I know the community is going to recognize you. They might want to connect directly with yeah. you. Please just share some additional uh, information for those in the community to reach out. Thank you for what you're doing mm -hmm. and just expose what's going on right here in our community. Absolutely. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm so thankful to have this time and opportunity to speak with you and the team. So you can reach me at Kay Jenkins, that's K-J-E-N-K-I-N-S at OaklandCA.gov. Again, that's Kay Jenkins at OaklandCA.gov. Look forward to hearing from you.
Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you. Kevin with uh, Oakland City Council. You have been right here with Spotlight on the Bay. Hello, Bay Area. Welcome. I'm your host, Rebecca Martinez, and you are in the Spotlight. Today, we are here in the city of Oakland with Claytoven Richardson, and I wanted him to share a little bit about the impact that he's making right here in our community. Great to have you today. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about your well, role. Let me, let me switch on my, my better side. Oh, okay, your better side. <laughs> No, I'm the, I'm the center director here at Arroyo VAO Recreation Center. Okay. And I've been uh, the center director here for maybe a year, almost a year and a half. Okay. Uh, before I was at another center called the Digital Arts and Culinary Ca Academy, uh, right off of seminar, sem seminary in Oakland as well. Yeah. Wonderful. And so, can you tell me a little bit about your um, involvement when it comes to Park and Rec and... What kind of brought you into this role? I, I know well, you mentioned a, a short period of transitional time, but well, for me, give us a little bit about your background. For me, I, I, I'm a, I'm a full-time musician, and I've been doing that for quite a while. One of my mentors, his name is uh, uh, Bill Bell. Unfortunately, he's passed. Um, he just took me in as a kid and really helped me out with um, teaching me all types of things, music theory, arranging. All the things that I've been able to do in my career, um, he was a main inspirator. And one day I asked him, I said, hey, man, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm from the hood. So I got to ask, why are you doing this? You know, I don't have any money. My parents, I don't like to say my parents were poor. I rather say they were broke. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he said, I do this because someone did it for me. And told me that one day I need to do it and pass it forward. And so I need you at some point in your life to pass it forward. So it started off with me teaching at San Francisco State. I was doing some classes that I had developed uh, for San Francisco State for their professional music department. And then I did that for a while and realized I really wasn't hitting the demograph of yes. folks I really wanted to hit. And so it just turned out that a guy asked me if I wanted to go to work at uh, was then the Digital Arts and Culinary Academy. And um, he told me where it was and I told him no. And the reason why I told him no is because I just felt like sometimes Oakland has this kind of reputation of, my bad, but I had this reputation of kind of half doing things, you know what I mean? And I didn't want to be involved with that. He said, no, come through. I got there. In 15 minutes in, I said, when do I start? Oh, I love it. I the love place, it. The place was off the hook, all brand new computers, brand new kits. Oh, it was, it's, it's off the hook. And so um, uh, as time progressed, he left. I wanted to become the director. Uh-huh. And um, some, some years later, wind up transferring here to Arroyo. So you mentioned, um, you know, your mentorship, and I value that. That mm -hmm. is so important as leaders, not only in our community, but in family systems and just in our world right. system. Um, the generosity of giving back is so important. And what inspires you to really give back? I know you talked about your mentorship. That was the main thing, seeing others that I looked up to doing that. There was Bill Bell, there was another teacher, his name was Phil Reeder, another one, Alan Pollock, another one, Michael Centurier. These were all people that really gave them themselves for me to be able to do the things that I've been able to do in my career. Being of service, so important. Yeah. So you just recently have been recognized with the city council. Can you tell us a little bit about your recognition? And um... So I've been here for about a year and a half and the council people know me from my work over at um, the other center as well. Uh huh. But they decided that it was really important to, they wanted to recognize me because just in the year and a half that I've been here, um, things are going on. 
<laughs> I mean, look at you're bringing everyone together in a safe, clean environment. Yeah, we had a this park was really overgrown and stuff, and so we had them clear out the the creek. Okay. We cleared out this whole park. Had 20 new trees planted. Uh, it's just been a lot of stuff going on, and 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 my whole thing is, um, I believe in that it takes a village. There are a lot of nonprofits and other organizations that want to be here in this community and make things happen. So for me, it's all about reaching out. I think you may have talked to a couple of folks like the Kingmakers. Yes. The things that they're doing and other organizations like that are doing. I think it's important to be able to support that and make that a part of this park and this community so that all these young people can benefit from that. Hello Bay Area, this is your host Bilal M with Spotlight on the Bay. Food, sports, fashions, programs and vocational schools that can and will help change your life. Remember, it's a new day. We want to give you thanks um, for being that model and leader to really bring a network of black and brown folks together right Thank here you. in Oakland, California, making a difference that we don't always hear about. Thank you. And Appreciate so that. the positive service that you are conducting, we don't have words to express, but Thank you. we are truly blessed to have you here. I mean, for me, I always tell everyone, it's not about me. It's about all of us working together. It's about all the beautiful things that are going on because of a bunch of people putting in their time, putting in their effort. And as long as I can continue to facilitate that, for me, I'm, I'm blessed. I, f I feel blessed that, that just to see this is just incredible to me. Is there any um, information you can give our viewers today about finding you, uh, events that are going on, websites, emails? Do you got social media outlets going on right now? We have our, our YouTube page, you know, uh, Arroyo VAO uh, Recreation Center. Anytime anybody wants to find out anything about any activities, they can always call here. I have the greatest team in the world, five really wonderful, nice people. That are, that are very accommodating and will answer any questions you have at, if they call here at 510-615-5755. Uh, People, or you can always email us at arroyoviejo7701 at gmail.com. Again, much appreciation oh, thank you. for you being an, outsta an outstanding leader right oh, here. Thank you, thank you. Um, role models that look like us. Okay. And making a difference. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.